The general idea behind the V-Block project was to take the performance and efficiency that was historically made available only in custom products and put that into a production product that's available to everyone. We had a couple of general parameters. One was to incorporate carbon fiber into the side plates, but we didn't want to just put a, a new body on the car. We wanted to also reinvent the engine if we could and make a better performing block. We managed to do that with the invention of the V-shaped race blocks, thus the name V-Block. The V-Blocks are totally manufactured here in Pewaukee in our factory. Not only the carbon fiber side plates, which we mold here, but also all the machine components, the shivs, the inner races, and the rollers are all machine titanium. The V-Block starts with a titanium inner race. It's one piece with two bank sides to it. There are two basically cassettes of rollers that ride on uh, the inner race and those are titanium rollers and then there's a titanium outer race which is the same part as the shiv uh, so that creates the shiv component. This is the first time I guess you can say we're using 3D printing in a production aspect. We've used it a lot for prototyping up until now. Uh, but these cages would be extremely expensive to injection mold from a tooling perspective, so 3D printing is just the best way to go for the cage. This is the first product we're launching that uses this carbon prepreg and compression molding process. Um, we do all the manufacturing of the molds and the tooling in-house. All the machining for the, the tooling happens here, and then the molding actually making the carbon part, putting the raw material in the molds. Um, that happens here as well. We buy prepreg, so that's the fiber and it's the epoxy mixed together. And that needs to be in a freezer. Uh, we have to take the material out of the freezer, let it thaw for about 45 minutes so that it's pliable. Um, and we use our, the vacuum cutting table in canvas, um, same for cutting our boat covers. Um, to cut out the raw material. Uh, that gets cut up into little cookie cutter pieces, roughly the, the same shape and size as the parts you see. Kind of compare it to little sheets of plywood almost, and you stack the layers of plywood together and put heat and pressure on them and cook it for 10 minutes and out pops a, a finished part. Um, and then every time we pop out a side plate, we apply and polish a mold release. Um, if you look closely at, at the part, it looks very similar to oriented strand board. So it's, most of the carbon you see is cloth. Um, it's, it's a weave pattern. Um, this is very random. Fibers are all different directions so that it has uniform properties depending how you load it. Also, from a branding perspective, adding color into our branding for one of the first times on a block, that's unique. Uh, and then coming up with a way to get a, a world-class finish on this carbon part. I think there was a lot of effort that went into this piece and uh, we're all really proud of it. I'm able to run a test, cycle it back and forth, uh, set a load, you know, across the board measure efficiency as the load ramps up. The V-Block is the highest performance production block Harkin has ever made. Uh, it's been a very interesting project to work on. We're right at the cutting edge of sailing right now with uh, this product, the boats that's going to be used on. Uh, it has taken a while to get everything nailed down 100% perfect the way we want it, but I'm really happy with the way the block turned out.